New season, same goals. On the premiere episode of USF Basketball Run With Us, we catch up with the men's and women's basketball programs and hear from the talented players on the women's program about USF's all-time winningest head coach, Jose Fernandez, and how the multinational team comes together as one. Up next, we'll hear from the men's side on what it takes to make it on their team. Stick around, you're watching the season premiere of USF Basketball, Run With Us. Tampa, Florida has always been a great place to spend time in the winter, unless maybe you're a basketball team visiting the University of South Florida to play the Bulls. The men and women of the USF Hardcourt bring network television and attention to Tampa's home for hoops, where the behind the scenes hard work and perseverance pay off in front of a fun loving fan base. Pride runs through these lanes as both the men's and women's programs boast past championships and are dedicated to winning future ones as well. This segment of USF Basketball Run With Us is presented by Wendy's. Under the friendly lights of the Yingling Center and on this court, a new year dawns on the University of South Florida, home of the Bulls, and Tampa's home for college basketball. Jose Fernandez returns to lead the women's basketball program into the new decade. In his nearly 20-year tenure as head coach, he's led the Bulls to 15 postseason tournaments. Six times his teams have had NCAA tournament berths. He's the all-time winningest coach in program history. This season, with only one senior on the roster, his young Bulls look to continue their winning. In 2017, Brian Gregory was introduced as the head coach for USF men's basketball. Brought in with a passion to reignite the program with character and commitment to excellence. And in his second season at the helm, Gregory led the team to the best win turnaround in the NCAA. The most single season wins in school history. And the 2019 College Basketball Invitational Championship. Injuries have already struck a blow to this year's campaign as the Bulls lost 2019 AAC Freshman of the Year, Alexis Yetna. But Bulls don't back down in the face of adversity as the team battles their way into conference play. You're watching USF Basketball Run With Us. Now, Brian Gregory has a history of turning around programs. The biggest turnaround in college basketball last season. CBI tournament champions, school record 24 wins. Brian Gregory just kind of really changing the entire mentality of the team. He has injected some real life in this program. You know, he's really on us, you know, making sure we, we're doing what we're supposed to. And, you know, after a while, it just becomes a part of you. You know what he expects, so you just you follow through with it. Off the court, too, it, he helps you become a better man, helps you fight through adver uh, adversity. The keys to building a program is to recruit and develop, recruit and develop, and you never stop recruiting and you never stop developing. I have an unbelievable staff that's very good at seeing guys that fit into our program, seeing guys where they're at now and where they can get to down the road. DG, he drills that throw ahead that here at USF, they recruit OKGs, our kind of guys, and that's <clears throat> respectable young men who are going to play hard on the court, but also be respectful off the court. The first signage or branding that we put in our offices was the OKG sign over our grease board in our recruiting room. Just to make sure every day we knew the importance of bringing in our kind of guys. You can definitely see the progression, you know. When the younger guys come in, it's up to us older guys to, you know, show them the way and then they'll follow right after and then it'll just become a part of your daily life. Are we bringing in our kind of guys and are you staying our kind of guys? And that's really important for us to continue to grow in, uh, as a program. Mike, the only thing I want you to do now when you recover on the decks, 
Get into the habit of recovering like this, not with this hand back here. Definitely tough on you, but it's only because he wants the best for you. He's a great coach, and uh, without him, I wouldn't have gotten as good as I have playing, uh, continuing to progress as a player. He's a fun coach to me. You know, like, he pushes you to get better every day, but He's also, you know, like allows you to have some leeway and have some, some freedom on the court. I mean, he has a, a great basketball mind. I mean, he has so much to share with you and help you learn. If he tells you something, he's telling you to do it for the best interest for yourself. We always talk about the only person we need to compare ourselves to is who you were yesterday. We just got to keep getting better. Then even when you have some setbacks, even when you have some adversities, if you're all pulling in the same direction, you're going to be able to fight through it and then maybe exceed those expectations. He's a, he's a great guy, and he cares about his players. He wants us to see. He gives us freedom on the court, and he makes sure we do what we do in the classroom. Go Bulls. He, he really care about us, honestly. To get to where we want to get to takes time. It's really hard, and you got to be okay with being uncomfortable. And I think our guys are embracing that. Seeking its first top 25 win since 2012, USF hosted number 21 Memphis in front of over 5,000 fans at the Yingling Center. Welcome to Tampa, and welcome to the American Conference. Well, you know, I think Brian Gregory's brought a lot of excitement. I really do. I think this year, for example, they're very competitive. Things are going in a positive way. He has done some great things since coming here. I'm telling you, I think the future is very bright. Brian is very organized, understands how to win, and understands how to get the most out of people. I'll say one other thing, Tom. This conference is so underrated. They are really quality teams. But Quincy Reno, preseason first team, all AAC. He could be the first player to ever lead the American Conference in assists two years in a row. He also could be the second player to ever lead the AAC in steals two years in a row. So he impacts the game at both ends. David Collins scored a game-high 24 points. Collins, a sweet little backhanded reverse, he is able to tie the game at 11. And Zach Dawson put together his fourth double-digit scoring performance of the season. He had 15 points. Boogie Ellis floats one to Dandridge in traffic, blocked, met by Michael Durr. Michael Durr scored six of the Bulls' first 16 in the paint. Durr attacks the goal. And Justin Brown added nine points of his own. Collins buries a triple. Tell one thing, with his driving ability, making the perimeter shot, becomes big. They got a good backcourt. Their backcourt's going to keep them in a lot of games. USF held a 14-point lead with less than 13 minutes to play before an ill-timed cold streak allowed the Tigers to steal a win on the road. USF Basketball Run With Us is brought to you by Center State Bank. Wendy's, Coca-Cola, Hooters, Tampa General Hospital, USF Health. This segment of USF Basketball, Run With Us, is presented by USF Health. Coach Fernandez, you can probably hear him. He is intense right now. I would describe him as intense into this game and coaching. Now the Bulls starting 
to figure it out. Jose Fernandez, who is one of the stalwarts within the American Conference, spent 20 seasons on the sideline for the USF Bulls. His players love him. He's been here for 20 seasons. You don't stay a place that long if you're not doing something right. So he's taken this USF program. You know, he had a player in the WNBA with Courtney Williams, but he's taken this program and he treats these players like professionals. She gets around. Has trouble, but Manhattan just pops open for three. Got it! Can try the baseline jumper. Instead, wants to get it in deep. What a move! What a move on Joyner Holmes! And Jackie Markson guards her pretty well. Drives it again to Leverett. Gets a power dribble and scores! And it's fouled! I mean, Coach Fernandez as a coach is. A lot of things, like he really, really cares for you, but he's gonna make sure to push you every day to become a better basketball player, but not only a basketball player, also as a person. He wants you to take care of your academics. He wants you to make good decisions off the court. And then also he helps you a lot to become the basketball player you wanna be and help you achieve your dreams you have set for yourself. Rosé uh, wants to take uh, part of each one of us and make the best basketball that we can get, you know? And I think it's going to be great for our season. 5.40 to go, she looks to drive, and another reverse layup! Wow! Double fantastic! I'm, I'm really excited uh, about the year. What this team went through last year was, was unbelievable. You lose 50-plus points out of your lineup, and then opportunity comes, and those kids were prepared and they were ready. Our student athletes do a great job, especially our veterans, to bring the young guys along. This is how we do things here. And when you do that, it just carries over from class to class. USF are introducing a lot of new pieces, a lot of players from a lot of different cultures and backgrounds coming in, and how do we find a way to gel and come together? He's gonna drive in, lefty, lay up and roll! Coach Fernandez has talked about how he can go over and get five-star recruits internationally that are just as good players, but they're just foreign and not as known. Well, it starts with the city of Tampa and our university. And Florida is a melting pot state, and the city of Tampa has so much history. People all over the world that have lived here, and, and our university, and the direction that they've gone with global studies as well. But the international piece, we've had I think our style of play uh, is very, very attractive. But the international players that we've recruited have had a lot of success. So now when we recruit international players, uh, the program sells itself. South Florida, they are internationally known. As you look at their roster year in and year out, and Jose Fernandez continues to pluck talent from overseas. You name it, they have 10 countries in total represented, nine coming from overseas. I don't know if there is other team in the country with so many internationals like us. We have people from everywhere, all over the world. Uh, Portugal, uh, Czech Republic, Denmark, Italy, Spain, Betty. She plays for the Belgium national team, but she's original from Africa. Oh yeah, Croatia and the United States. I think it's pretty cool here. I like it that we are a lot of international players here. I actually like wanted to go somewhere where it's more international players than just like Americans because I don't know, for me it's like 
I feel like a family is here, so it's pretty cool. We're very competitive. We have so many people from different nationalities that makes us, we all came here from basketball. So of course, getting far in the, like, in a tournament, an NCAA tournament, and also win a conference championship is all what we strive for because we came here to accomplish different goals with basketball and of course get an education. Here in Tampa, a lot of reason to be optimistic. There's a lot of excitement about USF and this program and the trajectory that it is on. You know, timing in life is everything, and the timing to be a bull, uh, it could be no better right now. A race to the basket, and a one-handed dunk by Agent Zero. Pass is Justin Brown, he'll fire on that right wing and knock it down, JB. If you're ever considering coming to South Florida to play basketball, just know that you're coming into a program with coaches who are really going to be dedicated with you, not only as a player, but as a young man. They want you to develop um, in, in the society today because once the ball stops dribbling, they want us to be successful in not only basketball, but life as well. And you can really tell that they care about you. Every time you come in here, they're wondering how you're doing. These are some of the greatest coaches I've been around uh, since I've been kind of working in this industry. and So they care. Um, and, you know, a lot of coaches say that, but you actually see it, and I see it in their actions, you know, just in our day-to-day -day work as well. So that's, I would say, that's the biggest selling piece is the coaches and their relationship building. For me, it was a lot about can I be happy here without basketball? I think that's important because if you are, then basketball is just a bonus to it. That was a really important thing for me. And then from a basketball standpoint, you gotta look at, is this playing style something I can see myself play in? How are the coaches? Do I see myself being a basketball player here? It's a lot of different things that come into play, but definitely how I am, how would I fit in as a person, and my personality in this program. Badges for three, looks good, and it is! The elbow between the legs dribble. Cross court pass to Rayshon Williams, sets his feet, fires from three, and around the rim and in, and Rayshon knocks down his second triple of the game. Sometimes players can go places and they feel used, abused, they get, you know, they feel like they get thrown around. I don't feel as if our players feel that way. You're gonna get a, a growth of you know, yourself, both from a basketball standpoint and personal. You want to get better, this is the place to be. You know, everybody gets held accountable, no matter if you're the first man on the roster or the last man on the roster. Everybody has to come prepared to play every day, and that's the best way to get better, in my opinion. Great conference. I mean, we play most of the top teams in the country, so, and our schedule is, we got one of the top schedules in the country as well, so, I mean, athletically, there's nothing really that we're, that we're missing out on. Our community is like a big family and it feels like you don't need anything else you know for me it's really important uh, everything that I have around uh, makes me feel comfortable because if not only basketball it's not it's not gonna make me so comfortable but everything around it is gonna make me feel like this is home we're a big family here like we all like hang out together we'll spend time together so like if you come here, just know like you, you, you come into a big family or we all like rely on each other and just hang tight and, and just move forward all together. We have everything you need. Unbelievable city, fantastic facilities, great leadership in our athletic department and our university. We have an unbelievable academic situation for them, a preeminent university with unbelievable academic support diversity within the university. Uh, you know, all those things put together, and now we have a basketball program that is developing players. When all that's put together, it's a pretty good situation. USF Basketball Run With Us is brought to you by Center State Bank. Wendy's. Coca-Cola, Hooters, Tampa General Hospital, USF Health.